Today we have a quick tip that comes from a question a student sent me just this morning. She's a civil engineer who is trying to draw a deck that is aligned with the house that's already there. And she wanted to know, hey, do I have to draw these rectangles like this, say 20 feet by 20 feet, and then rotate it in order to get it where I want it to be? And generally, it's not a bad method to use. Nothing wrong with it, especially if you use rotate by reference, which allows you to select an existing angle and set it to a different angle. However, there is another way that you can do it. The trick to this, like most tricks in AutoCAD, comes from reading the command line. If you start the rectangle command and then pick your base point, you'll see that we have an option called rotation. If we click on rotation, then we get to pick the angle that we'd like our rectangle to go in. I'm just going to pick this end point. Once you do that, you can see that the rectangle can be placed at that angle without ever having to know what it is. We can still set it to the size we want. And there we go. The only real difficulty to this comes when you try to do it again. That rotation angle gets stuck. So when you're done using it this way, just come back to the rectangle command, choose that rotation option one more time, and set it to zero and that'll reset it to its previous setting. Did you find this helpful? Click the like button. Do you have burning questions of your own that you'd like to see a video about? Leave a comment. Finally, if you haven't hit subscribe yet, what are you waiting for? And if you're interested in our AutoCAD, Revit, Inventor, Fusion 360, MicroStation, Civil 3D, SketchUp, or 3DS Max classes, check us out at AtkinsTechConsulting.com. As always, I'm David, and happy catching.